Oh, here so wait, uh, yeah. can you start with your name and sure. then what you're showing off? Sure, yeah. So my name is Vu Nguyen. Um, I'm showing off the, showing off, I'm actually showing the con context aware vehicle. And so the idea or the concept is that cameras or sensors within the car can observe you in terms of your head orientation, your uh, face ID, as well as your proximity within the vehicle. And it can collect that information, parse and provide it to you as a driver or passenger, some useful manner and application. So in this particular demonstration, I'm showing two things. One based upon convenience and the other one based upon safety, right? So the convenience aspect is, of it is basically when you approach your car, uh, from a face recognition standpoint, they'll be able to identify you as the user and be able to give you access to the car's infrastructure, such as heating and, and uh, uh, adjusting the mirrors, as well as uh, profiles about you and where you're at. It also can tell you if you're on the driver or passenger side, okay? So that demonstration will be showcased here. The second demonstration is the uh, safety aspect of it. And the idea behind that is if you're um, driving down the road and somebody cuts you off, Right. Uh, it, it, based upon your head orientation, to be able to tell if you're looking ahead, uh, it gives you kind of a subtle alert. Beware, be careful. And if you look to the side, it's going to give you an aggressive alert, basically saying, "Hey, pay attention. There's a car in front of you." Type of thing. Okay. So I'll go ahead and showcase the first demonstration. Great. So. The, the, the actual square is actually tracking all, all the actual faces uh, that you actually see. So um, I have it trained to be able to actually detect uh, my face. And let me see here. As you can see, when it actually shows up in, in red, uh, it will provide an alert over there, basically saying uh, if I am uh, in the vehicle or not. So the challenge that we're facing right now is the constant movement of the background, right? And so it's actually learning in terms of face recognition. It's actually learning in real time from the labels that I provided and from the non-label, such as when it sees my face, it's actually looking at my gestures, my movements, turning my head left and right, that type of thing, to be able to detect the object uh, from the vehicle's point of view and then provide that information back to the user. So, um, so basically, you'll, you'll see that flash in and flash out. But as it recognizes my face, um, it's gonna actually provide that information about where I'm at, if I'm in the driver, if I'm in the passenger side, okay? Now, in this particular instance uh, demonstration here, what we're showing is that there, my car is the gray car that you see there. And as it looks at my head orientation, if the car actually cuts me off, right? Based upon my head orientation, it's going to be able to determine uh, if I'm looking ahead or looking away. And if I'm looking ahead, it's going to give me kind of just a yellow alert, basically saying, be careful, somebody's cut you off, pay attention. Now, if I turn my head to the side, um, and this kind of movement, what you'll notice, um, if it detects it here, is that you'll see a, a, bl a blue block. I mean, it, it, notice that I've actually turned my head to the side. And it'll give you a more aggressive alert, basically saying that the car in front of you is actually um, uh, is, is braking so that you should actually go ahead and uh, turn back. So, so that's the idea between the two. So over here we talked about a convenience aspect of recognizing you within the car. And the other side is more of a safety aspect. Uh, all from a contextual lens. Okay, cool.